Ok, let's talk about a lie. A massive misconception in programming. The one that says Rust is hard to learn. We hear it everywhere. Rust has a steep learning curve. Lifetime errors will make you cry. It's for people who enjoy suffering. Garbage. The truth is, Rust is only hard if you try to code it like it's JavaScript or Python. It's not harder. It's just different. It teaches you to be a better programmer. In the next minutes, I'm going to prove that things people call hard are actually Rust's biggest superpowers. Let's dive in. Let's hit the boogeyman first, the ball checker. This is what everyone complains about. They say it's an impossible gatekeeper. But the borrow checker is not your enemy, it's your personal programming tutor. It's like having a compiler that took an advanced degree in memory management. In languages like C++, you get runtime errors that are a total mess to debug. Seg faults, race conditions, memory leaks, they show up days, weeks or months after deployment. Rust says, nah, I'm not letting that bomb leave the factory. The compiler forces you to fix these errors up front, on your machine, before they even hit production. The core rules are simple, ownership, borrowing and lifetimes. Once you understand move semantics, you've solved 80% of your problems. Rust isn't making things harder, it's forcing you to think about how your data flows. That concept alone makes you a better developer in any language, even the garbage collected once. And let's be real, the compiler error messages are amazing. They tell you exactly why you're wrong and often suggest the fix. Try getting that from a C++ compiler. Rust developers don't have to deal with a garbage collector. People act like this is a huge burden. It's actually a gift of predictability. In languages like Java or Go, the garbage collector runs whenever it feels like it. You get the garbage collector poses, your high performance server, your real time game, your CLI tool, it suddenly stutters. With Rust, memory is cleaned up predictably when a variable goes out of scope. It's called RAI, resource acquisition is initialization, non expected stops. Your performance is consistent and maximum. We don't need a massive runtime to manage memory. The compiler handles it at compile time. This is what allows Rust to be the perfect choice for WebAssembly, embedded systems and high-speed networking. You get the memory safety of a garbage collector language with the performance of C. That's a win-win and it only required learning a few extra rules up front. The hard part is just the cost of entry for ultimate power. Another common complaint, the tooling is confusing. Cargo, crates, modules, it sounds like Dungeons and Dragons. Rust ecosystem is one of the best designed in programming. You install Rust and you immediately get Cargo. Cargo is not just a package manager, it's a build system, a test runner, a documentation generator and a dependency resolver all in one command. Cargo new my project and you're ready to go. The community has a culture of quality. If you use a crate from crates.io, it usually comes with fantastic documentation thanks to CargoDoc. This unified approach means you spend less time figuring out how to set up your build pipeline and more time writing code. There's one standard way to do things, which makes it easier to jump into a new project. Compare that to the wild west of C++, where every developer has a different build system. Rust organization is a boon, not a burden. But the syntax is so weird. This is usually just the result of unfamiliarity. Rust syntax is actually built for clarity and safety. Concepts like pattern matching and the nums with associated data, stuff you see in languages like Haskell and OCaml, are a huge part of Rust. This gives you incredibly expressive code. No more worrying about null or undefined, the dreaded billion dollar mistake. Rust forces you to handle every possible state with option and result. The compiler ensures you can't forget a case. This might feel like extra typing, but it eliminates a massive class of bugs that plague other languages. It's safety by design. You spend your time thinking about the logic of your program, 
not tracking down that one unexpected null value. The cognitive load shifts from runtime debugging to compile time design. Once you click with the patterns, your code becomes self-documenting, clean and incredibly robust. But hey, you know what is hard? Hiring the right engineers. You spend weeks sifting through hundreds of AI-generated resumes, dealing with scammers and interviewing candidates who clearly just watched a YouTube tutorial 5 minutes ago. It's brutal. That's why this video is kindly sponsored by G2i. G2i takes all the pain away. They don't mess around, they connect you with pre-vetted contract and full-time engineers. This means they do the dirty work, saving you from the hassle of sifting through the, all those irrelevant applications. They've got over 8,000 vetted engineers, each with at least 5 years of experience across different tech stacks. And here's the best part, they give you full transparency with recorded technical interviews showing exactly where candidates excel and where they need work, not guesswork. They've helped companies like Meta, Microsoft, Ninja One, ShopMonkey, and tons of startup and first-time founders find the top talent. So if you're tired of playing hiring roulette, check out G2i. The link is in the description. Now back to why Rust is awesome. So let's wrap this up. Is Rust easy? No language worth learning is easy. But it's harder than others? Absolutely not. The learning curve is steep at the beginning. You spend a week wrestling the borrow checker, but once you understand ownership and borrowing, that curve flattens out. Unlike a language where you struggle with the runtime or memory bugs for your entire career, Rust's struggle is front-loaded. You pay the price once for a lifetime of safe, fast code. Rust is making you a disciplined programmer. It's not about memorizing complex syntax, it's about adopting powerful, low-level concepts that apply everywhere. So ditch the stereotype. Stop listening to the people who gave up on day 3. Go try Rust. It's powerful, it's fast, and it's waiting for you to conquer its initial learning hurdle. And now go build something awesome. Ciao!